Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are using Microsoft Wallet in the Edge browser for desktop, then just to let you know about two new settings that Microsoft has added into the Edge Canary browser, which is currently sitting on version 122, which is the latest preview version. And they've added these settings to the payment methods. So they're furthering their progress a little bit. And this is the first of two settings. It says save card security codes on this device. And the description for the setting reads, when enabled, Microsoft Edge will store your security code, which is your CVV or CVC, on this device to make check out quicker. Now, I have noticed that this is toggled on by default. So that's the first of two settings. And then the next one is always verify when using autofill. The description reads, when enabled, you will be asked to verify your identity before Microsoft Edge enters your card details. And this one is turned off by default. So these are the two new settings. And apparently these have been around in Chrome on Android for quite some time. So it seems that these two options, and with these two options, Microsoft is playing a little bit of catch up um, with Chrome when it comes to rolling this out to the Edge browser. And as far as I know, they are also available on Edge, if you are using Edge on Android. So now Microsoft decided to push these out across the board to the desktop browser. And, uh, and this is just a bit more kind of further development um, in regards to the payment methods. And this is available, these two new settings are available in Edge Canary and Edge Dev, which are both early preview versions. And if we head over to the stable version, we can see that the payment methods, these settings are not available as yet in the stable version. We only get save and full payment info, automatically save payment info and show express checkout on sites when you shop. So um, those two new settings not available as yet in the stable version, but I personally think because this is available now across Android, it's also available in Chrome. Um, I think this will roll out in due course to the stable version. But obviously, like all these new features, I'll keep you guys in the loop if I get any info. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.